Good morning. Welcome to VCC Connection. My name's Rick. It's good to be with you today. In the near past, I've been battling a pain in my lower right back. It was like, what is going on? Evidently, I tweaked something when I was playing golf on last Friday. And uh, beginning Sunday night and Monday night, I could not sleep for two nights because of the pain, the dull pain that was constantly going. It was like, oh my, what is this? And my mother had chronic kidney disease, so I start going to kidneys. I'm wondering if I have a kidney stone, whether it's kidney disease, what's going on? And my mind's just racing. And it's amazing what happens when you find out what's wrong. Finally went up to the clinic. Uh, the doctor looked at me, took all, all the information she could of my symptoms and then she felt my back and she went down to the place where the pain was and she said the muscles are so tight right there i think it's muscle instantly it's like all the things that were operating in the back of my mind wondering what in the world is going on am i really in for some major physical <laughs> condition just went right out. And I would say instantly I felt 50% better just knowing that it wasn't this and it wasn't that, it wasn't, it was just muscle. And the muscles were spasming and, and they were really, really hard. <sighs> she put me on some medication. I slept like a baby last night. It was so wonderful. It's amazing what happens when you have the truth about your condition. I wanna encourage you today about some biblical truth about all our condition. In John chapter 2, 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 and 2, it says, My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. You may already know this, but just in case, let me repeat it. Our sins have been atoned for by Jesus Christ. Now that's really good news. I remember hearing a, a, an apostolic brother from the East Coast who was sharing with us that every time he visited this church, he said he was always just blown away because they never forgot the joy of their salvation. He says when they went there, their worship, the, the folks that have come out of drugs and come out of all sorts of, of, of very difficult, harmful situations, were so pleased to embrace the truth that as they confessed their sins, Jesus is just and righteous and forgave them their sins. And they never lost the joy of their sins having been forgiven. I thought that was so good. John continues in chapter 3, verse 5 of 1 John. He says, But you know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins. And in him is no sin. I love Jesus' prayer in John 17 where he says, Father, that they may be in me as I am in you. And we get this incredible uh, oneness that goes between the Father and the Son that we are included and that we come into the Son and into the Father through the Son and the Father and the Son in us. And when I was looking at that, it says, and in him is no sin. Wow. It's not about your behavior. It's about where you're placing your faith. It's about where you've confessed. And as we confess and he forgives and we enter into relationship with him, he really desires for that oneness where he comes into us because in him is no sin. Now, I've never looked at sin that way. I usually look at sin as my long life project as a Christian of making sure that I'm sinning less each day. And it's up to me. And I think that's where we do ourselves a disservice. Because under that, the enemy just gets us going around the same loop over and over and over again. 
when I think the invitation of the Holy Spirit today is for us to move into that oneness with Christ, because in Him there is no sin. And the more we spend time in the oneness with Him, I think the, the less sin becomes a focus and the more his wonderful nature, who he is, knowing him, his love, becomes for us. So Father, I ask in Jesus' name that you'd release your spirit now, that the ways in which the enemy has caused us to just be in a continuous cycle of trying to get better, would be broken off of us and that we would find the grace to just enter into the oneness of the one who has come and atone for all our sin. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen.